What's going on, nation? I'm going to demonstrate for you guys how to do a T-bar row. Now, some gyms don't have a T-row machine. Our gym doesn't, so I had to make shifts my own, so you guys can do the same exact thing. Now, to make your own T-bar row, all you need is a squat rack, okay? If you don't have a squat rack, just you can use a wall. It's a little harder to anchor the bar. So what I do is just took the bar off the squat rack, then I put a couple plates behind so I can level the 45. I put the bar in the corner right here. I'm just going to lay the plate on top just to kind of anchor the back. Now, when I do this with the bar, I like to use 35 pound plates because if I use a 45 pound plate, it's going to hit me in the chest before I can get you know, the, the full benefit of the exercise and bring the bar all the way up to my belly button. Okay? So I'm going to make sure you can do the, the full contraction. So, the next thing you're going to need is just a simple handle like this. Every gym has them, usually doing it for low rows on the cable machine. What we're going to do is put it on the bar like this and complete our T-bar row. Now, what you want to do is make sure you stand with a kind of a wide stance with your feet. And you want to keep your chest as parallel to the ground as possible while maintaining a neutral spine and keep your core nice and tight too. Okay, arch your back. Breathe out the way up. And pull as tight as you can. Come down nice and slow, keep your core tight, breathe out the way up, okay? I don't want to see this, make sure you bend over, get as parallel as you can, bring the bar up, breathe out, come down, one more, breathe out the way up, keep your core tight, just like that. And that's how you do a T-bar row. Hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration video, and as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.